When installing a new port cover, you will need to find out how much fall your concrete slab has. This can be done by using the 2x6 side fascia and a level. Measure the distance out from the post location and factor in this number when you're determining the amount of fall needed for your cover. For proper drainage, the roof panels must be installed with a minimum of one half inch slope per foot of projection. Check your local building codes for minimum headroom under the header, usually six foot eight. Take this into account when determining the height of the house. Select the mounting area on the wall or eave and snap a level chalk line along the wall to locate the bottom of the roll form hanger or ledger board if one is being used. Determine the location of the posts from the house. This is normally one to two foot less than the overall projection of the cover. Take into account the type of end caps ordered with your cover and how you want the end result to look. Snap a chalk line on the concrete parallel with the house at your determined post location. You will use this line to mark your post locations. The post should be at least four inches away from any edge of the concrete slab or expansion joint and 30 inches away from any crack. The cover must be laid out square with the house. Your concrete slab may not be square, so do not take measurements off your concrete slab. Use a framing square or the 345 method to mark a perpendicular line from the house representing the side edge of your cover. Some obstacles can be in the way, such as steps and other things. Use your ingenuity to overcome these things. Refer to the post spacing chart to determine the maximum post spacing for your cover. The two outside posts will be set in from the outside edge of your cover, giving you a side overhang. This overhang may not exceed 25% of the maximum post spacing. On larger covers, the header may come in two or more pieces. The header splices must be centered on a post. Take this into account when calculating the post location. Locate the studs in the wall or the house rafters behind the eaves. Transfer these marks below your chalk line so you'll know where to place your screws when installing your roll form hangers. If you're installing your cover to line up with the edge of your house, set the hanger back three inches to accommodate the side gutter and fascia that will be added later. Place the hanger along the chalk line and install using number 10 by two inch screws. Screw every 16 inches for 10 pound snow load or every eight inches for 20 to 30 pound snow load. 